why are AGA standards important for the health of the bison, not just the marketing side, but the health of the animals? Yeah, you know, I think um, we, could, we could dig into really the science, right, and how ruminant animals, rumens actually work and how they are meant to digest certain types of feed. And, um, you know, I think it's pretty clear that those both from a health standpoint from them. And honestly, for me, it's even um, a deeper sort of moral obligation. Um, Carrie Balcom, you know, the executive director of the AGA once said to me, when you uh, look at a cow, a beef cow in a feedlot, you can tell that it's lost its soul. When you look in a bison's eyes in a feedlot, you've lost your soul. <laughs> um, and, you know, that sounds dramatic, but when you see you know, an American bison, I keep looking out the window because I'm looking at my animals. Um, when you see an American bison on grasslands grazing and rutting and wallowing and roaming as they were intended to do, I just don't know how you could feel good about um, sending those animals to a feedlot lifestyle. So part of it for me is largely just welfare, animal welfare in itself. Um, and then also I just believe in the health benefits of animals that I believe we are what we eat. Um, and if we eat healthy, happy animals that creates healthy, happy human beings.